a lot of us, we love safe prayers, right? We want to thank God for the things we have, our food, our homes, the things we've seen come to fruition in our, in our lives. And you know, those prayers are great. They're awesome. You know, sometimes we get a little complacent though. And I know for myself, I hold back on prayer. You know, I know in my own life, I've seen the most radical growth though, and the most amazing words of God come from really the most uncomfortable prayers. And that's what I want to talk about here because these are, I would call them dangerous prayers. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm going to explain what that means, but these are the times when I'm willing to stretch beyond what I'm comfortable with and to do what we're called to do as believers, right? This is fully trusting God, right? With everything rather than sort of confining my prayers to safety and the things I know, really opening myself up to God and saying, look, God, I don't know what you want me to do, but guide me where you want me. That is a dangerous prayer because you might end up somewhere you never thought you would be. So let's make a commitment this week to say dangerous prayers. And not just this week, but every day. But let's start with this week. So what do I mean by that? Let's get a little bit more specific. Here are three positively risky prayers that are worth saying today, tomorrow, and every day. First and foremost, say, Lord, give me the words today. Give me your words. Lord, don't give me my own words, right? Because my own words can get me in trouble. So if you're like me and you like to talk, you know that the problem can come when you say things that maybe aren't necessarily the things that need to be said. So we should pray for God to give us his words and not our own. And so that's what I ask God for in my own interactions with friends, with loved ones, and especially my interactions with people I disagree with or struggle with. The second prayer that's worth saying, Lord, what do you want me to be thinking about and focusing on today? You know, my mind can wander. So for me, this is an important prayer because it helps me focus. I have a ton of my own ideas, my own whims, the things that I want to follow. And so it's easy to meander away from what God wants. But when you ask him to directly focus you, to directly guide you towards what he wants, that can set every day on the proper course. So that brings me to my third dangerous prayer. Focus on action. Lord, what do you want me to do today? Who do you want me to go to? Where do you want me to be? How do you want me to behave? Focusing on these elements within God's will, that helps us take the right actions in life. And I'm going to add another one in. Okay, why not? God, who do you want me to speak to today? I sort of mentioned that in the last one, but I want to isolate this because it's important that people hear the truth. So asking God to point us toward truth is essential. It helps us not only impact our own lives for the positive, but to make sure that people hear the truth. Uttering dangerous prayers means that we are submitting to God and to his will and that we're not only focusing on our own. And that is the perfect place for us to be.